This lesson is on how to set up a knowledge base for an AI agent. Let's dive in. In your AI sub account, click on Settings, then click Knowledge Base. In the top right hand corner, click Create Knowledge Base, give it a name, then click Save and Continue. Here we can see there are four parts to every knowledge base. Let's go through them one by one. First up is the Details section, consisting of name and optional description. It has nothing to do with function. It's just to help you keep track of things if you end up with multiple knowledge bases. Next up is the web crawler. Here you can type in any website URL, then click Get Data. Once that happens, the knowledge base will visit that address and attempt to scrape as much information about the business as it possibly can. Any business information found on that website will be internalized and made ready for future reference. You can do this with more than one website if desired. Next up is a section on frequently asked questions. Here you can put questions and answers directly into the knowledge base. Pretty straightforward. Last is the upload files section, which at the time of the making of this video is still coming soon. Once this feature is live, you'll be able to upload full documents straight into the knowledge base. In the meantime, there's a workaround for adding documents. Simply use a Google Doc and make sure to allow anyone with the link to view it. Then paste the link into the web crawler and let the web crawler internalize the Google Doc. Okay. Now that we have a knowledge base set up, let's attach it to our voice AI agent. Head back to the agent settings and click on agent goals. Select your knowledge base, then as you'll notice, a new field appears beneath it called when to use this knowledge base. You can customize this field as needed, but unless you have good reason to change things up, the default instruction is probably going to work best. Once you're ready, click save. Congratulations, your AI agent is now empowered with all the information in the knowledge base. You can update your knowledge base at any time, but for now, go ahead and move on to the next module.